What does it take to transform a man into a symbol of justice? Our story begins in the shadowy depths of Crime Alley, where young Bruce Wayne's world shattered with the brutal murder of his parents. This wasn't just a personal tragedy, it was the genesis of a profound transformation. A deep sense of justice was ignited within him, fueled by an unwavering desire to shield others from the pain he'd endured. A seed of justice was planted that night, one that would eventually grow into the symbol we now know as Batman. But how does a man become more than just a man? How does he become a symbol, a beacon of hope in a city consumed by darkness? You see, Bruce Wayne's journey wasn't simply a transformation, it was a metamorphosis. He pushed his body to the limits, honing his skills to peak human performance. His mind was no less a weapon, trained to solve the most complex riddles and strategize in the blink of an eye. His journey took him far from Gotham's city lights, to distant lands where he learned from the world's most formidable masters, each lesson, each challenge, shaping him into the hero Gotham needed. But it wasn't just about the physical prowess or the mental acuity. Bruce Wayne created the Batman persona as a symbol, a figure to inspire fear in the hearts of criminals and hope in those who had lost it. And so, from the ashes of tragedy and through the crucible of training, the Dark Knight was born. In Batman, Bruce Wayne found a way to channel his pain into a force for good. Batman became an emblem of justice in Gotham, tirelessly fighting for the oppressed. His commitment to safeguard those unable to protect themselves is unwavering. His enduring presence brings a ray of hope to a city often consumed by despair. He inspires others to rise above their circumstances, to fight, to hope. In the end, Bruce Wayne's transformation into Batman is a testament to the power of the human spirit to turn tragedy into a force for justice.